if you really think a little bit about it, compassion is the ultimate survival tool. In our, our civilization is built on competition. And we think that the key to security is having the largest gun in the room. But it is not. You are safer when you are surrounded with friends than when you are surrounded with enemies but holding the biggest gun. Because that's going to change. Tomorrow someone else is going to build a better gun. Or you're just going to fall asleep and someone will kill you in your sleep. You are much, much safer when you show compassion, when you surround yourself with the friends, then by having the largest, you know, weapon, gun, army. In the <laughs> because waging wars doesn't solve anything. It is exactly putting your energy in the wrong vibration. War never solved anything, because it's like a pendulum, you know, we are fighting over something. I am for and you are against. And the more I am for, you are more against. And then I am more for and you are more against. And it never ever ends. You know, um, First World War, World War I, uh, 1914 to 1918. Okay. Uh, at the time, it was labeled War to end all wars. And of course, now we know that it wasn't the war to end all wars. <laughs> because we had another world war 20 years later and hundreds of local regional wars ever since. There are, it is just, it doesn't solve anything. You cannot, we have a, lot, a whole lot of wars today. We have war on terror. I mean, war on terror creates more terror. We have war on drugs. We, have, uh, we are fighting corruption. We are fighting injustice. We are fighting for equality and so on. There are so many fights. And you know what George Carlin, one of the greatest comedians, said about that? Fighting for peace is like screwing for virginity. <laughs> it's exactly that. You cannot fight for peace. You cannot fight corruption. When you fight corruption, you have more corruption. You cannot wage war on drugs. I mean, we have war on drugs for years. Are we winning that war? Do we have less drugs? No. Don't fight what you don't prefer. Just invest your energy in what you do prefer. So don't fight the cause of the problem. For example, on war on drugs, it will be putting people in jail for selling or using drugs. Support the solution. You know, that's exactly what Portugal, European country, did. They decriminalized all drugs, I mean, for personal use. And then that money that was left because police now doesn't have to waste resources on fighting the drug users and less people in jail and so on. And, so on. and that money they invested in people who have trouble with drugs. Because, you know, people who are using drugs are trying to run away from something, from some kind of pain, or maybe they feel their life is worthless or whatever. Help them. Help them. Don't fight the cause. And it really works. In the case of Portugal, yes, it really works. You should. Take a look at that if you're interested in that idea. So, as Muji, one of the great spiritual teachers, contemporary, said, don't remind the world that it is sick and troubled. Remind it that it is beautiful and free. And when Muji says, don't remind the world, it doesn't mean just go around and tell people, oh no, the world is beautiful and free, hey, the world is beautiful and free. <laughs> remind the world that it is beautiful and free with your actions and with your vibration. So, invest your energy in something that you would like. Don't fight what you don't like. 
as the Gandhi beautifully said, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. Don't fight for a change that you wish to see huh? or against something. Be the change. If you would like world peace, be in peace and don't go to any wars. And if you, are, if you meet some misunderstanding or if you have different points of view with someone, if there's some kind of argument about something, show some understanding and forgiveness. Show some understanding. That will solve all your problems. That's, that's a path to the solution. And, you know, there was a great spiritual teacher, teacher about 2000 years ago. His name was Yeshua, full name Yeshua ben Yosef, uh, commonly known here as Jesus Christ. He said, love your enemy. Turn other cheek. If someone hits, hits you, turn the other cheek. I mean, that doesn't make sense at all in the Newtonian physics, in the uh, cause and effect and action-reaction kind of world. But it makes a lot of sense. When you look at things energetically, vibrate, from a vibratory perspective, when you you're discovering secrets of the universe by examining frequency, energy and vibration, as Tesla suggested. It makes all the difference in the world. Investing your energy in what you do prefer, instead of fighting what you don't prefer. 